Good morning from the Muddy Paws Ranch, or AKA Green Acres. This is Sergeant Prepper, AKA Rusty McBride. I was out doing chores this morning and I'm sniffing, not really sniffing, sniffing, but I catch the whiff of horse crap and chicken crap. And uh, I get to thinking, you know, a lot of people aren't used to that smell. They're not used to animals other than dogs, you know, and they, they go out every time their dog takes a dump and, and clean it up and put it in a trash can. They don't think about it, but, excuse me, when you're on the farm, it just piles up, you know, and unless you have it hauled off and that's a pain we've done that before but <clears throat> I got to thinking about the smells and you know the difference between the smell in the city and the country and how is one going to be able to handle that um, because it's a stark contrast sometimes in the city you don't smell anything some parts of the city they probably smell like sewage Especially downtown San Francisco where they crap on the streets. But, um, you have to know that when you come out to the country, that it's going to smell and it's going to be totally different. Horse chit, cow chit, chicken chit, goat chit cheap shit, whatever, you know, you're going to get different smells. And the reason I say this is, um, you hear about a lot of people moving out the country and, and, uh, from the city that have never really been in the country before. And they, all of a sudden, you know, Oh God, that stinks or, or, or that smells, or them animals are having sex. Oh my God, right out in front of God and everybody. You know, those animals are doing it. That's the way it is, folks. <laughs> That's the way it is raw in the country. It's no refined, perfect, world in the country and you know another thing is that people don't understand that having property more than a 110 foot by 200 foot lot in the city where you get your mower or your riding mower and mow it there's a lot of work involved in living in the the green acres so I want you to be aware of that you know, if you move out prior to an SHTF WROL situation, if you move out prior to it, don't try changing it. That's the way that it is. Okay? If, perchance, you do make it out of the city during SHTF, um, be aware that the smells are there. It stinks at times. You know, it stunk this morning. It's going to stink really bad in the summer. But that's the way it is. Us country folk, doesn't bother us. Not only because we're used to it, but because that to us is the smell of freedom. You know, freedom to do what we want to do. I want to pull my pants down in my yard, and I live next to a state highway. People going by 55 mile an hour. If I pull my pants down in the middle yard and take a leak, nobody says nothing. You know, you don't see that in the city, or else you'd be in jail, slapped with a uh, uh, sexual, what do they call that? You'd be put on the, the sexual uh, deviance list, for lack of a better term, this morning. 
but you know there's different it's two totally different mindsets and I've lived in the cities not you know like LA or San Francisco or New York you know talking the biggest city I lived in was probably Boise and at the time it was you know 100,000 now it's up over 200,000 but you know it's totally different mindset totally different smells totally different way of life you know so you have to be aware of that that's the way it is folks it's nothing new you know up until 50 60 70 years ago that's the way it was and if you can't handle that you can't handle being alive you can't handle being a human being you know because that's how we live um, you know as far as sex animals are gonna have sex that's the way they are um, not only do they do it for reproduction they do it for dominance you ever see a female dog hump a male dog or another female dog that's not done out of sexuality that's done out of dominance that places them in the pack from top to bottom the one that humps the most is generally on top <laughs> but because we have a female healer which is probably one of the smallest dogs we have and she's constantly humping one of these dogs big big great pyrenees and, and you know spaniels and stuff like that so you know you're gonna see humping you know no more than you see humping on the television and that's another thing is television out here is a luxury per se because for one thing you don't have time for a television you're too busy chopping weeds burning weeds you know what have you taking care of the the fences you know things like that and if you're working full-time I don't I'm semi-retired my wife works so I take care of you know try to take care of uh, you know fixing the place up trying to keep it up the best I can for my age and you know it's a lot of work um, so you need to to be ready for that work and SHTA SHTF situation you don't have the luxury to uh, be in shape you know running on a treadmill isn't going to put you into that kind of a shape totally different type of work and it it it's tough it can be tough the bugs out here I call this out here Skeeterville you know and if SHTF there's not going to be the truck coming around once every 10 days to spray for the mosquitoes it's something you're gonna have to get toughened up to you know in the summers I go out to pasture even with the trucks coming around I go out to pasture when it's 100 degrees in a jacket and sweat pants to keep the mosquitoes off of me that's the way it is and if you can't handle that when SHTF comes, you may as well just crawl in a hole and die. Do you know? Because the survival skills, you know, they're talking in a major like an EMP, they're talking 90% attrition rate within a year. Okay. And, and that's one of the reasons why people will lose their mind. They won't be able to handle the rigors of living on a farm they will be too busy you know especially if they haven't prepared they will be too busy chasing food down trying to eke out trying to eke out 
whatever they can off the land. So, anyway, country life, totally different. Be ready. And, you know, it'll be a lot better on you. If you're not ready for it, you just as well turn that gun around and shoot yourself right between the eyes or, you know, in the mouth, whatever. It's, it's not going to be a fun time. So anyway, you all have a great weekend. I'll try to get back on before the weekend's over. And remember, these are my opinions, my opinions only. And they are for entertainment purposes. If you would please like and subscribe. Push the little, my little buttons down here. Um, I would very much appreciate it. Y'all take care now. Sergeant Prepper out.